In today's video, I will show you how to use the Open Trivia API to generate trivia questions. I will also show a small project that I made using the Trivia API. Once you have everything set up to make the API call, this is what the final result will look like. I'm just using a free program called Postman to easily make this API call. But once we have everything set up, I'll just hit send. If we look at the response, we can see that we get back a list of 10 different trivia questions and we can get the information such as the difficulty, the question, the correct answer, as well as the incorrect answers. So to start this process, we just need to go to the page I was at earlier, which is just this exact URL that you see here. Once you're on this page, you can specify the number of questions that you want to generate, as well as the category, difficulty, type of question, and then coding as well. So for example, if you just want to generate one question, with a category of let's say science computers and a difficulty of like hard. And then for the type, we're gonna need to do multiple choice is true or false. Let's say we do multiple choice. And I'm just gonna leave the encoding as a default encoding and just hit generate API URL. Once we generate the URL, you should be able to see it up here. You can just copy it. And if we just go back to Postman and make a new get request and just uh, paste in the URL that we just copied, then we just hit the send button. And now we can see we're just generating one question each time with a category of like computers with the type being multiple choice, the difficulty being hard. And then it gives us back the question correct answer as well as the incorrect answer. And that's pretty much it for how to use the Trivia API. It's pretty straightforward. You can pretty much customize it however you would like. If we click on API documentation, you can actually read more details about it, such as using session tokens. So you don't see the same question twice and the response code and encoding types. Now that I've explained how the Trivia API works, I will now show you a React project that I built using the Trivia API. This is what the project looks like. I have a counter that keeps track of the number of points each time you get a question right, and each time you get a question wrong, it like subtract one. And I also have the question here, as well as the multiple choice answers. And if I just click on an answer and it happens to be right, um, I would get a point, but because the answer is wrong, I actually like decremented a point. So I'm gonna keep clicking until I get an answer right. Once I get an answer right, it's gonna load another question and then give me a point. And so that's the entire project. And now we'll show you the code. And as part of the tutorial, I assume you have a basic understanding of React. I'm not going to really go through line by line, but I'll just explain like the sections of code that I have. And I'll also make sure to leave a link in the description so that you can just copy the code and modify it however you'd like for your own projects. So an in initial page load, uh, it's going to call it the get trivia data function that I have here inside the use effect hook. And it pretty much all it does is just makes an API call to the trivia API. Once I get the response back, I would just set the trivia question inside this variable that I call trivia question, as well as the correct answer. And then here, I'm just creating another function called combine all answers, which would just combine the correct answers as well as the incorrect answers into a single array. Afterwards, I would just display the question as well as all the possible answers onto the page. And I just created another function called verify answer that would just verify the answer that the user selects against the correct answer. And if the answer is correct, then I'll just add an extra point to the counter. And if it's incorrect, I'll just decrement the point. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the Trivia API and how to use it in a project. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.